Hey guys, it's your boy Nick Urkel from Keystone and More. I am the co-producer of Keystone and More. And right here on my phone is Milan Jane, but he will not be participating in the video. He has homework. He's just in to listen. Um, because today we're actually talking about his favorite team, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, because we're talking about it's Wednesday Night Rivalry here on Keystone and More. So today we talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins versus the Washington Capitals. Next week will be the New York Rangers versus the Philadelphia Flyers. I believe those are their two biggest rivals outside of the actual teams. Because I do believe Pittsburgh's biggest rival is Philadelphia. Philadelphia's biggest rival is Pittsburgh. But Pittsburgh's biggest rival is Washington and Philadelphia's second biggest rival is New York. So, just to give you a uh, insight on this history, Washington was atrocious until the 1990s. Literally, if you saw this team in the 1970s, you would turn off your TV, you would break your TV for being dumb enough to watch this team. They had eight wins their first year. Eight wins, I tell you. If I lived in the Washington area, I would not have cared about this team. The only thing that team had in the 1980s was good uniforms, which, oh, they are beautiful. I still play with them in NHL today. They are now considered the alternates because they do wear those as alternate uniforms. But I am very excited to talk about this rivalry. I do believe this is a very fun rivalry to watch. I don't know if we'll be seeing in the playoffs this year because I think Columbus is a very good shot of winning that series. But we'll talk about that on the podcast, which is on Sunday. Make sure to watch out for that. So let's talk about the beginning of this rivalry. Again, just like the Philadelphia one, this rivalry all goes back to Lemieux. As it usually does. I mean, the main part of this rivalry was obviously the crosby Ovechkin part. But there was a rivalry before that that people don't really talk about because no one really cared because they were the Capitals and they had no fans. And neither did the Penguins because, let's get real, Pittsburgh sports fans are the most fair weather fans I've ever met in my life. So, anyway, Washington's... Okay, so Washington sports fans... Washington sports fans, they're actually not that fair weather fans. They're actually... I know some Washington sports fans. They're actually pretty strict... I'm hoping to get down there in the fall to see the Packers play the Redskins. They're supposed to be down there. Don't know what week yet. They're announcing that tomorrow. They'll be announcing the NFL schedule tomorrow. But the opponents have been announced, and the Packers are headed to Washington. So I'd like to get down to Landover. Yeah, they don't play in D.C. because they have a dumb nickname. Um, so the Capitals. I think the, So the Capitals, if we go into their history, like I said, were terrible until the 1990s. And then they kind of got good. And the Penguins, you see, the Penguins were always a roadblock for this team. They always have been. They always will well, until Crosby retires, which should be in the next 10 years. Um, and then, you know, Jake, no, no, no one cares about him. Get him out of here. Um, so Crosby mocking, you know. Obviously, Philadelphia Flyers will be their next roadblock. Morgan Frost, Nolan Patrick, Carter Hart leading the way to a cup down Broad Street. You know, I'm so excited. Drew will be like 45, not even playing. Danny Briere will be the GM at that point. You know, I have my dreams for the Flyers. Um, so, but anyway, I, so we go in the Capitals, they were, ter but so they were not very good at the beginning, but then the, the, then the Rangers became a roadblock. The Islanders were a roadblock. The Penguins were a roadblock. And as Urinating Shree once said, saying the word Penguins gives you PSTDs if you're the Washington Capitals. If you have not seen his Washington Capitals video, you're missing out on a hilarious time. Uh, that's maybe the best one. So, anyway, the... So, in 1995, they lost to the Penguins in the second round of the playoffs, I believe, which was then the Patrick Division Finals. Whatever, no one cares. So, the point is, they lost in 1995. In 1998, they actually did win the Eastern Conference, and they got swept in four games to the Detroit Red Wings in the Stanley Cup Finals. I had to do my ear and voice for that for a second. So, they lost in 1998 to the Red Wings in four games. So, then, for a bit there, the Capitals were just trash after that cup run. 1999, they didn't even make the playoffs. I think they were like one of the first teams to win the cup and then not make the playoffs. Or not win the cup, but make it to the cup and then out of the playoffs. But it didn't matter because the Penguins were also trash at this time, so it didn't really matter. They, the Penguins were trash from like 1995 to like 2005, but, or, but then they were kind of good there for like a year after Lemieux retired and then Lemieux came back. Lemieux, he might be like, he's my favorite player of all time. To be honest, like, I know, oh, you're a fake Philly fan. Lemieux's your favorite player. He's a beast. If you ever seen him, he doesn't do the dumb bat stuff. He doesn't do the... I hit a bat, yeah. I hit a home run, yeah, yeah, New Jersey. No, Lemieux was like, goal. That was Lemieux. Lemieux was a smart guy. Um, but anyway, Lemieux has a dumb retirement history. He should have retired in 1995 or whatever. But instead, he had to retire in 2006, which is the dumbest thing ever. So technically, his career was 21 years long, but it was really more like... Well, he, he, wait, he played before 85, I think. Whatever. The point is, he didn't play for 21 years or so anyway, let's get to the most important part of this rivalry. The funnest part to watch about this rivalry, the great one versus the second one. The great one is obviously Alexander Ovechkin. The second one is obviously Sidney Crossfit. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious. And then the third one is Gino Malkin. Yeah, he's the third one. But, um, so, 
I think that this... So, this all started in 2000... Well, okay. Gino and Ovi were drafted in the same year. Obviously, Gino had the travel issues where he couldn't get here until like 2010, which is a phenomenal story. Um, or not 2010, it was like 2007 or something like that. It took him a few years. I don't. I keep saying 2010. It's 2007 or something like that. But, um, so then, the... So, yeah, then Ovi was drafted in 03. Malkin was drafted in 03. Flurry was drafted in... Oh, no, 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 it would have been... Flurry was drafted in 03. Ovi, Malkin were 04, and then Crosby was drafted in the lockout room. I <coughs> should have went to Anaheim. But, you know, all is good. So, if Crosby had went to Anaheim, which I'm going to I'm gonna do a timeline. What if Crosby went to Anaheim and the NHL wasn't rigged? We'll do that video on point. I'm going to do that one video. I'm Like, one day I'm going to do that. I'm, I might do a what if timeline, um, a what if series at one point. Um, but this is the Wednesday Night Rivalry series. So, we'll get into that. But yeah, so then there was the lockout. Ovi didn't play his first year. Ovi's official rookie year was the same year as um, Crosby and Gino. But actually not Gino, because like I said, Gino, he, it took him a few years to get over here. So then everybody's like, oh, the, the Penguins are dumb. They drafted Gino, and now he's not going to ever play in the NHL. And then people are like, oh, shit, Gino's like maybe the third best player in Penguins history. We're dumb. Um, so then let's, um, so then this rivalry, the, the both teams were like kind of, eh, they were okay. And then comes 2008 in the Eastern Conference Finals. The Penguins take down that Capitals and seven games in overtime or something. The Penguins always beat them in overtime. It's always some bullshit overtime. Um, so then the Penguins beat them in 08 in the conference finals, and they beat them in 09 in the um, 09 when you know the Flyers should have went to the. But um, so then the Penguins win the Eastern Conference Finals against the Flyers, semifinals against the Capitals. So the Flyers and the Capitals switched over the two years. But then in 2010, <laughs> Flyers won the Eastern Conference. Capitals Penguins suck. Then 2011, the Winter Classic, the greatest thing of all time happened. Ovechkin, he's playing against Crosby in the ugly jerseys that the Penguins had. The original blue jerseys are so much better. And then Ovechkin goes in. He's injured! Everybody's going crazy! Crosby's injured! We all loved it. And then everybody's loving it. Crosby's injured. And then, this is like the only reason I like Ovi, that boom hit. It wasn't even him. But, like, he did it, like, eventually. Like, he did it another time or something. And then Ovi called him, like... I, Ovi called him something, didn't he? Ovi... I forget what Ovi called him. Uh, Ovi's a funny guy. Um, those Russians. So then, 2011 Winter Classic. Uh, Pittsburgh beats... Or, no, Washington beat Pittsburgh in that game. And then, you know, Pittsburgh didn't make the playoffs. <laughs> so then, uh, that, that was hilarious. And I'm going to put myself on mute here, because he's doing his homework. So then, you know, actually, I won't put myself on mute. So then, um, so the Penguins didn't make the playoffs, you know. <laughs> and then the Capitals, they did really good. Flyers, they did really good, because, you know, this was the Flyers dynasty, if you didn't know, this time. And then 2012, the Eastern Conference first round, the Philadelphia Flyers demolished the Pittsburgh Penguins in six games. But that doesn't really matter, because they didn't play the Capitals either. So in 2013, nothing happened. Capitals played the Rangers. Rangers played the or, yeah. Capitals played the Rangers. Flyer, Penguins played whoever. And that just continued. And then comes the present day, 2016. In 2016, the Capitals played the Penguins in the first round. The Capitals were disappointed because they had to play the goddamn Penguins. They all wore, they all had cancer before the game because the way they played, they played terribly. And then the Capitals lost. They lost that in six games. I believe they lost in overtime. And then you heard the terrible Penguins song, which I'm, re which is really growing on me, which I don't like. That Penguins goal song is growing on me, and I'm really not liking it. I still think the Flyers goal song is legit, but Penguins goal song is rock is like really creeping up on me, and I'm actually starting to like it. I'm actually starting to listen to it because it is actually pretty good. But then, so yeah, that year. Penguins won in overtime. I think it was like double overtime, game seven. It was some Ottawa bullshit. And then, so th that was a year later. They shouldn't be in Ottawa. Ottawa should have went to the cup. Rose is up the capital. Uh, but imagine if Ottawa would won. Ah! If Ottawa would beat you guys in the overtime. I would laugh so hard. I would have laughed so hard. I'm waiting for Columbus or Washington to beat them in the second round. Let's hope Washington gets there. I'm kind of hoping Washington wins like the cup. And I'm just waiting for the, yeah, brother, yeah. Bring it down Pennsylvania Avenue, brother. My boy Donald, you go my. How you guys doing? And then so, then to that seventeen, fly uh, 
Penguins play the Capitals again. Penguins win in the third period. It's over. The Penguins are heading to play Ottawa. It's rigged. They beat Ottawa and Nashville because Gary Bettman owns the Pittsburgh Penguins. Can you believe it? And then there's this year. So this year, we got the Flyers beating the Penguins because, you know, it's rigged and all. You know, Gary Bettman owns the Penguins and all. So then, so that's happening. And then the Capitals are playing the Blue Jackets, and they lose every goddamn game in overtime. I don't know what that's about. Like, overtime, and the Capitals don't mix. Like, they somehow won a game because of Lars Eller's skate. It hit the guy's skate and went in. So it wasn't even, like, a real goal. It was, like, one of those fake goals, you know, you know? So then, yeah, Capitals, uh, Capitals play the Penguins. I think, uh, Penguins got, I think the Capitals going to win that series easily. And then, uh. Now Milan's going over to his couch to watch the Penguins lose. Don't know why I would do that. Um, but now, so, you know, this is the rival. Let's talk about the rival. Let's talk about Ovi and Crosby. I think Ovi and Crosby are, like, two of the most best players of all time. Obviously, we got the great one. We got the second one. We got, like, the third one. Then we got, like, the fourth one, the fifth one, the sixth one. It's, like, everything. Uh, let's see. Washington's got better goaltending. But... Penguins? Okay, here's the thing. The Penguins actually have a pretty good offensive core, but I think the Caps also have a very good offensive core. Here's the thing. The Penguins have the shittiest defense, maybe in, like, the history of defense. So, Washington wins defense. The question is, who wins Who wins offense? Because think, you got the Penguins with Kessel, Crosby, Malkin, and Hornquist, which is great. But then you have the Capitals with Ovechkin and Backstrom and Burakovsky and cut his nuts off. And that's what I call him. I call him cut his nuts off. It's funny. But, yeah, so I think you have to go with the Capitals in a seven-game series. And so I will be, uh, I'm going to see Capitals in seven if that happens. And, um, yeah, so just to give you an update on my sports traveling schedule, I will not be going to the Penn State spring game because I instead will be going to the Phillies Pirates 405 game. Um, also... I mean, that's really all I have. I might be going to Penguins-Flyers Game 6 if that happens. Or I will be going to, um, trying to think. Uh, that's a, that's all I can really think of. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for now. And I will see you all next time.